There are 24 bars to the Mind Gammon board. Each player has an inner board, which is the first six bars, a dice run, a set of dice, and 15 checkers. To play the game, players face each other at opposite ends of the board. To begin the game, each player rolls their dice in their separate dice run. The player with the highest roll of the dice is the first to start the game. The players roll their dice and move their checkers onto their inner board, or what is known as bearing in. Each player continues to roll the dice alternately, bearing in. When a player has moved all their checkers onto their inner board, they are now able to proceed across the board toward their opponent, moving all 15 checkers into your opponent's inner board. Only when all of your checkers are in your opponent's inner board are you able to remove your checkers from the board by exact dice roll, or what is known as bearing off. You must bear off exactly as the dice show. The first player to bear off all their checkers wins. Now, here are some important rules. You can only move a checker in increments of the numbers shown on the dice. If on that increment the bar is blocked, you may not move that checker. An open bar. A checker can land on an empty bar, or a bar where a checker or checkers of the same color are resting. This is an open bar. When a checker lands on a bar with a single checker of the opposite color, this is called a hit. During any point of the game, whenever a single checker is on a bar by itself, it is subject to being knocked out of play, or hit, off the game board, and sent back to the beginning. If you have a checker that has been hit, you must bear in before you move any of your other checkers. And you must bear in with the exact number increments shown on the dice. If the bars of the inner board are completely blocked with two of your opponent's checkers, there are no openings for re-entry. The hit checker, or checkers, must wait until an unblocked bar becomes available. A blocked bar. A checker cannot land on a bar where two checkers of the opponent's are resting, also known as a block. Penalty roll. When a player rolls his or her dice when it's not their turn, that constitutes a penalty roll. The player loses his or her turn and their opponent gets an extra roll of the dice. A penalty roll is also in effect if the player's dice bounce out of the dice run. It is also against the rules to use your opponent's dice run. You must wait until your opponent picks up their dice off their dice run in order to continue play. To continue playing while your opponent's dice are still in the dice run forfeits a turn or a penalty roll. The dice must fall in their matching colored dice run. Two of a kind or doubles. If a double five is thrown, one checker moves four, five moves, or two checkers move two, five moves, and so on, until any combination of the face value of the dice is completed. AC Ducey. When a 1 and a 2 combination are rolled on the dice, or also known as AC Ducey, the player moves a regular 1 move and a 2 move. After completing the move, the player obtains a free roll of the dice. After dice are thrown, you must move your checkers the numbers shown on the dice. If you are unable to complete your move, you lose your turn, regardless if you have any doubles or AC Ducey. Now good luck and enjoy the game.